Hello, yeah, is this the spookiest pizza joint in town? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take an extra hard. Oh, 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 you again, you again. Listen, I didn't see you there. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold, hold, hold that pizza. First couple seconds. Okay. <coughs> oh, so I see you have returned again for the third day. You know, man, I really thought you'd be gone by now. You're you're a real stubborn one. But I guess, I guess you're here for week three. So we're going to be playing the scariest vampire game for the Sega Genesis. Now, I forgot what it's called. But someone recommended in the comments, and thank you for that. Enjoy the video. Now back to you. Yeah, I'll take an extra. Hey, Slayers, and welcome to probably... This game isn't really scary, right? Well, it is. It's actually pretty cool. It's called Bram Stoker's Genesis. I meant Bram Stoker's Dracula. Or you can also pronounce it Brame. Some people pronounce it Brame. Some people pronounce it Bram. I'm just gonna call it Dra um, I'm just gonna call it Dracula. Okay. Now this game was developed by Sony Image Soft and published by Sony Image Soft exactly for the Sega Genesis. And it's kind of it's almost similar to I don't know how you would describe it. Right. We're gonna go trainer. We're gonna up that lives a little bit. We're gonna go trainer, you know. We're gonna up our lives, of course. We're definitely up, up in our health for sure. And you know, I like. I don't want my jump to be A for sure. I'll take. Yeah, I want. I want A to be the gun. That's what we'll do. Now, there's a book just called Vampire. You know, Journey to Castle Dracula. Already. Now I'm guessing that man was a dead body. But essentially, this game is, I don't know how you would, it's a platformer, but I don't, I don't know how you would describe, you know, platformer beat him up. So it's certainly something. All right. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty fun though. I actually, I actually started playing this and I was digging the music and I know there's now here's the thing. I do know for a fact, there is a Sega CD version of this and it is extremely hated. I just want to say real fast that this is not that game. This game doesn't even really share any similarities with that Sega CD version, okay? This version on its, on its own is actually pretty fun. From what I've played of it so far, I've actually kind of enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying? It's an interesting little title, you know what I'm saying? Definitely different, to say the least. It can get a little hard. There's the exit. You know, you just go from level to level. It can get a little hard at times, at least in my opinion. But, you know, it's, 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 I wouldn't, I don't know what to really compare it to. I was going to say something like Alien 3, maybe. But, no, it's a very different, like, it's a very different than that. It is, it's essentially just a platform. You go from level to level, you know, your goal is to make it to the, um, to the exit. Sometimes you have to, um, sometimes you have to, um, bring an item to someone, you know, so, stuff like that. Now, this game is actually very good looking. Like, look at that dude's whip. It's a very Mold 7-like, and I really like that. I also like when you lose a life, you start right back where you where you came from. I beat the boss, and he was he was very interesting. This game uses some very interesting Genesis effects, like from the page, from things like the page turning and things like that. Some things really look interesting in this game, and I'm not gonna lie, like honestly, some stuff look extremely interesting. Like take take for example, like I said, his whip uh, that looked extremely interesting. The animation was extremely well done, and you know I appreciate anybody who actually did that animation. Their, their animation is actually really good and it's really well done. Sorry, I'm sorry for the little pause there, yeah. But like I was saying, like I was saying, the music here is like really, really good. Like honestly, like really good. It has that old timey like, you know, vampire film, you know, and it it, it, it differentiates itself from something like Castlevania. You know, I don't even feel that Castlevania similarity here like I do with some other. Like, take Masters of Darkness and then compare it to this. It's like, whereas Master of, Master of Darkness was based on vampires and literally tried its hardest to be a Castlevania ripoff, this game tries its hardest to be something different, but it's also based on, you know, Dracula. But it's, it's, it's a very interesting little title, and you know, I, you can get some mileage out of it. It's a fun, especially around Halloween. I definitely recommend it. I don't think it's too well known, because I never really see it that much, you know what I'm saying? I never see it. Was, at some point, now, you also have, along with having a sword, you also have a gun. And that gun has limited ammo, so, you know, be careful using that sucker. This is the exit. I don't know how some barrels is the exit, but they are. Don't ask me questions. I thought it was just shoot. Do I have to shoot something? Come on. 
sometimes it lets me leave. Yeah, see, sometimes it lets me leave, and then sometimes it doesn't. It, it's very weird. I really prefer. I really like this song right here. This is a really interesting song. You gotta watch your health, though. Like, see, you die pretty quickly, like very fast. And there is really also enemies respawn, so keep that in mind if that's the type of thing that irks you. See, enemies respawn, and they respawn quickly too. And literally, it's like some things can be unfair in this game, at least in my opinion, because there'll be some times, right, where something will just not even literally touch me. Like the skeleton. If you go back and freeze the video, you'll notice that skeleton literally did not touch me, but it counted as a hit. So that can get annoying from time to time. So if you, if you know you're not up for that type of thing, this game really isn't for you. And my my from my understanding, this game is based off a book, but it could also be based off a movie, you know. At that time, you know, anything was getting made into a movie. So it might even be based off a movie. But from my understanding, it's based off like a book. And remember, it is a Sony image soft title. You know, Sony title on the Sega Genesis. Pretty cool. Fun fact, Sony still has Sony still published under that name. They have um they make games Sony 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 Image Soft still publish games for stuff. Like they publish they publish games for Nintendo Switch occasionally under the name Sony Music. Come on. Come on, dude. See, some of the jumps feel unfair to make in this game. And remember, you have no invincibility frames again. So, you know, save state if you're if you know if you have an if you're using an emulator, save states really will come in handy in this game. I'm not even gonna lie to you. For thing just things like that. Sometimes you start back at the beginning, and then sometimes you have a random checkpoint. But think all in all. This game is pretty fun and definitely worth a check out for anyone, especially around the time when, you know, Halloween is sad, coming up Saturday. And, you know, someone recommended this to me. I think their name was Isaiah Borum. Yeah, Isaiah Borum. They recommended this to me, and I, you know, I was going to, I'm going to, I had to check it out. You know, I checked it out. And remember, if you want to leave your recommendations for a, ga a, a game to, for me to play the week of Halloween, remember, you have, today is Wednesday, right? So you have Thursday and Friday, to I can only do two more games. Because Saturday is actual Halloween day, and I already have a title picked out that we're going to do that video. So remember, I have room for two more recommendations. So make sure you leave yours down in the comments below if you want your recommendation picked for it to be the next two videos, and it will be sure to be made into a video. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and move on to prices. For anyone looking for the review into this video, this the, the game itself would be a 6 out of 10. Very interesting, but it does it is a very interesting title. The music is well done. I think the platformer needs a little bit of work because, as you can tell, I tried making jumps multiple. Well, not needs work because they don't update it. But I think the platforming could have used a little bit more fine-tuning because there is some jumps in this game that I made it to that are very, like, very like tough to make the game itself the difficulty even on trainer is really hard like this game can get really hard like i said and then the hit the hit detection can be a little bit off like i said if you go back and pause the video that skeleton literally didn't touch me but it counted as a hit so hit detection can be all over the place but the music is really good the story seems captivating you know i, I want to learn a little bit more about it and the music is very interesting so take that for what it's will take that for what it is you know a six out of ten but if you're if that's the review for you i'm gonna go ahead and move on to prices i'll be back in a couple of seconds join me then okay so i did a little bit more research right and i found out that this game is actually the sega genesis version i mean the sega cd version is based off the um the movie so i'm gonna go ahead and guess that the genesis version is too but it could also be based off the book but anyway we're going to go ahead and look at prices. Now, for a loose price, you're going to be looking at around $10 because, you know, we rounded off one sale per week. A complete price is going to run you about $18.24, and it really receives around one sale per week. A new price is going to run you around $39.14. It receives around two sales per year. A manual is going to run you around $7.95, so essentially $8. A box is going to run you literally $6, right? And for a loose price on eBay, you're going to be looking at around 7 bucks. On Amazon, you're going to be looking at around $7.75. On price chart, you're going to be looking at around $17.29. Your clear, the clear choice here, the clear choice here would be eBay. But you know, Amazon, you can't go wrong with them either if you only shop there. For a complete price, you're going to be looking at around $15.29 at price charting. And 
nineteen dollars and uh, you know twenty dollars for a complete price on eBay. Now here's another problem I have, right? Price charting, yet somehow their loose prices always end up being more expensive than their complete price. So never get a loose price from them if you never get a loose copy of a game from them if you're gonna buy something from them. Please don't. eBay, I mean price charting is the clear winner here, but you know you're probably just gonna go with eBay anyway. And then for a new price, it says there aren't any listed. But here's the thing I want you to keep in mind, right? It says there are none listed. It sort of it does say that. But here's the thing. Go on. If you're looking for a new price, go on eBay. You'll find one. I promise you, you'll find one. Like, honestly, I, I bet a subscription to my channel, you'll find one. But anyway, it was released in around, Jan it was released January 1st, 1993. Sony Image Self. Oh, see, dude, see, that's why the Genesis version is good. It was developed by everyone's favorite, Traveler's Tales. Now I got to title this video, Traveler's Tales, the most spooky Genesis game, right? Model number nine, it is one player, but yeah, essentially that's going to do it for this video. If you're new here, if you can subscribe, that'd be really awesome. We're trying to reach 200 subscribers and your valued subscription would help us do so. And you know, you, you'd be supporting more awesome content like this. And you know, we have the week of Thanksgiving cause Thanksgiving is coming up in the week of Christmas. I will sure be doing it. Although I'm technically taking Christmas off, but I'm going to record videos and upload them throughout Christmas. So I think the week before Every day on the week before of Christmas, I'm going to record two videos, but, but blah, blah, blah. That's for the future. Make sure you subscribe to help us reach that 200 subscriber goal. We're close. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely, I'm definitely going to be trying to get a new episode of the podcast out this week, probably tomorrow. You know, there'll definitely be a new episode to look forward to this week for sure. So if you don't want to miss that, remember to subscribe, make sure you put the notification bell on. And plus, did you know, subscribing is free, but I'm not going to keep beating your ears up about subscribing. Make sure to share this video with your friends to become a super slave. I've been the world's coolest second enthusiast, Sega Slayer 64. And until next time, have a spooky one, Slayers. Ooh.